Hi, my name is Sheila. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about five things that you can do to cut your time in the gym. A lot of times we think we just don't have time to make it to the gym. I got to get dressed. I got to carry my bag. Then I got to drive there. And then I get there and there are all these things that get in the way and keep me from having a really productive gym experience. And so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about five things to narrow that time, get that time down so that you get in there, get your workout done and you get back out and get on with your day. The first strategy is to plan what you're going to do before you go to the gym. Look, I know it's hard. Sometimes I don't even have a plan. Sometimes I do, but it's just sort of in my head, like sort of in the cloud space up here. But if you plan your day, put it in your phone so that you're ready to go. When you walk in there, you know exactly what you're gonna do, which exercises, which order, how many sets, how many reps, and it keeps you focus so make sure you have it written down someplace i do see people still carrying around their little books and they'll be checking stuff off and writing stuff down and i'm pretty sure not only is that helpful for them in terms of when they come back the next day but they walk in already knowing what they're committed to do so get a notebook use a phone whatever process works for you go for it but go ahead and plan your day so that you can be as efficient and effective as possible with your workout Strategy number two, and this is a good one. Okay, time the breaks between your sets, okay, and between your reps. And so that way you stay on target. And I know some people will actually have a timer going, and it does two things. One is it keeps you in the momentum of getting that workout in. And so you're like, okay, I'm taking my break and I got 30 seconds. And so then you're right back into it, next rep and you're going. And so you keep that momentum going. The other thing that it does is, okay, if you're like me, you may know quite a few people at your gym. They come up to you, they wanna to talk to you. I get it, I love you all. But hey, I gotta get in, I gotta get out. And so as soon as they walk over, you can go, hey, would love to chat with you. Can I check it out when I'm finished? Cause I'm on a timer here. And you can show them the phone with the timer going on. Yeah, that'll take care of two things for you. So definitely time those rest periods, get it on your phone or something. If you still wear a watch, I don't know how many people wear a watch. So if you wear a watch, use your watch or a lot of times your gym will have clocks up and around in the walls like mine does. Some will have second hands, some do not. And so there are three things right there you can use to help you stay on track, get that workout in and you are done. All right. Here's the third thing, okay? Go at off-peak times. I know, we wanna go at the time that works for us, go first thing in the morning, but it might help to like come just a little bit earlier than you had been coming in the morning. Come just a little bit later, come in the evening. Already you're coming when it works for you, but see if there's a way that you can tweak that. Because here's the thing, if you're coming to the gym at off-peak times, and guess what? Your wait is going to be so much shorter because you don't have all these people you gotta wait for. Like you're moving around doing different things because gym is over there on the machine that you wanna get on. Or there are four other people like all around this other machine. Trust me, I know it happened to me last night. I'm like, I just wanna get on that machine. Can I just get on that? Like I never got on it because it was just taken up with this crew that was sort of working out together and hanging out over there. So if you're going at an off peak time, you will have less weight when it comes to your machines. The other thing is, I've been at my gym for like 13 years. And so I know quite a few people there want to come over and say hi and you want to say hi back you don't want to be rude but you're trying to get your workout in and so number one less wait time if you come at off peak times number two maybe you won't run into all of those people that you know that are there during the on peak times all right number four all right for those of you who are introverts like i am this is a tactic we already use anyway a lot of people think oh yeah they've got it on their headphones they're listening to their music i don't want to bother them yeah that's exactly the point we really don't want to be bothered okay the headphone trick the headphone tricks number four put your headphone your put your headphones on okay put your headphones on 
And I'm telling you, listen to whatever it is you're listening to, whether it's some sort of motivational talk that morning, I love those too, whether it's some sort of music to keep you in the flow, but really what it does is it focuses you internally on what you're doing so that you're less likely to be distracted by whoever is doing what and get pulled in conversations. Like you can't even hear the conversation that you might normally, oh yeah, because you know last night that happened to me and yeah, you can't even get pulled in because you got your headphones on. And so it helps you stay focused. It says to other people that you're trying to stay focused and therefore that little trick will help you stay focused. That's tip number four. And my last tip, tip number five, you know, I was looking at my nails, they look really bad. Tip number five, all right, check it off. What am I talking about? Remember I said tip number one was to plan your workout so that you come in, you get that stuff done as fast as you can and then you're out of there. Check it off, because then you're like moving down the list. You're like, oh, okay, so I'm on my phone and maybe I've got a note list with little boxes and I'm just pushing little buttons there. Check off every single time I get, I got, hey, there's the exercise. First set done, second set done, third set done. Next, you're taking your breaks and you're moving right along. And so build all of that in so that you have your process down from beginning to end. That way, if you wanna chat with people, do it at the end of your workout. That's what I do. I'm like on my way out the door, I will chat with you at the counter. But when I'm trying to work out, please leave me alone because I am trying to work out. So I got my plan, I got my headphones, I'm checking things off. I am trying to stay focused. So you do the same, pull your plan together, take those breaks and clock them or whatever we wanna call that. Go during off-peak times, get your watch, look at the clock. Put those headphones on and check it off that list. So those are your five strategies. I hope those will help you get in the gym, get back out of the gym so that you don't have an excuse for not going. If those tips help you, put them in the comments. If you've got some other tips that you wanna share with other people, put those in the comments also. I'm, look, I've just come from the gym. I'm sort of hyped. I just wanted to share those with you. Hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out some other videos.